Well, it was another fairly gloomy read. Uh, consumer sentiment did improve slightly in the December month, uh, but to only 82.1. It's nearly uh, 20 percentage points below neutral level of 100. Uh, the improvement uh, this month uh, looks to be off the back of the RBA uh, leaving rates unchanged in December. We saw a significant lift in the mortgage belt's expectations for family finances over the next 12 months. Uh, but other than that, it's very much the same themes that we've seen for most of this year. Uh, consumers struggling with the surging cost of living, sharply higher interest rates and an increasing tax take, uh, and without much really uh, improvement in sight. Well, there are some glimmers of hope. Uh, where we ask questions about consumers' family finances versus a year ago, uh, it's not quite as negative as it was three months ago. Back in September, we had low reads in the, the low 60s. It's extremely low. Now we're sort of up around the 65 to 70 range around that measure. So maybe some of these pressures are starting to ease slightly. Uh, and there are some uh, cornerstones that are still quite positive. Consumers are still quite comfortable with the outlook for jobs. Uh, and they expect over the medium to longer term, the economy's going to hold up pretty well. Uh, what it's telling us is that consumers are still in the thick of it in this uh, fight against inflation. And they, they see this fight going on for some time yet before we get uh, to some sort of reprieve. Around housing, very much the same story. Uh, they've got this clear tension around affordability. Uh, views around whether it's a good time to buy improved slightly in the month. Again, the RBA's decision to leave rates on hold looks to have been a factor. Prior to the RBA decision, it looked like uh, assessments around time to buy might be sharply lower. Uh, but against this you know, affordability strains around uh, buyer sentiment uh, is this continued expectations for prices to continue to rise over the next 12 months. Consumers, about uh, two thirds, expect prices to be higher by the end of 2024 compared to now. Uh, it's very much the same themes, affordability driving this sort of polar view around whether it's a good time to buy and expectations around prices. All up, even with this slight improvement in December, 2023 uh, goes down as one of the most pessimistic years on record for the consumer. An average read of just around 80, uh, that makes it the second most pessimistic year uh, on records uh, going back 48 years. Uh, we can only hope that 2024 is going to bring a little bit of improvement off that base. Everything still looks to hang off this inflation st situation. If we get a material improvement around inflation, that could be the catalyst for a, a, a long-awaited improvement in the consumer. The content of this recording is informational and of general nature only, and is not intended to constitute a research report or reflect any recommendation or financial advice. It has been prepared without taking into account your objectives, financial situation or needs and investment decisions should not be based on it. You should obtain your own independent advice before proceeding with any investment decision. Whilst every effort has been taken to ensure that the contents are correct and any opinions, forecasts, conclusions are reasonably held based on information at the date of recording, Westpac does not make any representation or warranty as to the accuracy or completeness of the statements or information contained in this recording and any liability, therefore, is expressly disclaimed to the extent permitted by the law. None of the material included in this recording should be copied, published or reproduced in whole or in part without the prior written permission of Westpac.